Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Today on the channel we are looking at another knuckle roller. Once again, some of our friends up north are making this one. This is from Zero Gravity Return Tops. This here is the Pachoto. We're going to be talking about this little knuckle roller called the Pachoto. Let's get into it. Right. Uh, so I have reviewed, uh, we have the espresso tamper here. All right. We have the ristretto tamper here. So these are wood hybrid. You know, we have stainless steel uh, and that sort of thing on the ends here. Uh, I really, really liked these tampers. I still play with these quite a bit. I think I like the ristretto a little bit more as far as like my how many hours I've put into it. To kind of depart from that, we have now the Pachoto. That is how you pronounce that. That's what it says on the website, so I'm I'm hoping I'm doing that justice as far as pronunciation. This is Zero Gravity Return Top's first foyer into titanium knuckle rollers. Again, we have the other kind of hybrid ones. This here, again, is a solid titanium one. It comes in this version here, as well as a solid black sort of anodized version. On the machine one here, you can tell that the center space here, the, uh, you know, the rolling space here, has been uh, been blasted. Yeah, so it has a nice kind of blasted feel to that. You're going to see that it has this kind of canal here at the end here, which you can keep as is. That's how it's going to come in the box. But they also included, let me get them out of my pocket, some uh, rubber washers as well that you can slide in there. And that's actually how I've been playing this knuckle roller with those uh, O-rings in there because I kind of like the feel of that. It adds a tiny little bit more weight, nothing crazy, but I just kind of like the feel and the grip of that. But we'll put them in here in just a minute. But I did want to take them out just so you can see what it actually looks like, uh, you know, without them because this is how it's going to come in the box. We do have a little bit of branding here. If you can see that here, we have it kind of uh, masked off in the blasted area there. Uh, with their Zero Gravity Return Tops logo there. As far as the ends are concerned, these are somewhat reminiscent of the Ristretto. So let's take a look at the comparison here. So we have that kind of like dimpled in look there. Uh, it's so much smaller though. This is a, this is a, this is a mini little dude. As far as, you know, it's, it's lengthwise, it's pretty solid. If I can do a perfect comparison here. It's a little bit shorter than the Ristretto, right? Uh, just slightly, uh, but it's really where this much smaller is just the diameter in general. That middle space there is nice and thin here. So it's gonna just, I mean, my, there's very little gap there as far as whenever you're kind of rolling it through the fingers. So that has a really nice feel to it. A very unique feel and uh, it's definitely gonna stand apart. talked about this in the last knuckle roller review that there seems to be more and more coming out and that's a good thing. It's kind of pushing everybody to make their best, but also creating something that's unique that's going to stand apart is really probably becoming a challenge. And uh, as there is in yo-yo, right? It's, you know, it's, it's hard to kind of create a new design. It's hard to create a yo-yo that actually sets apart from all the others. And maybe knuckle rollers are starting to get to that point, perhaps, perhaps not. But this is a really refreshing design. I like that overall. I enjoy this one a lot. It's a really refreshing change from the other two. I don't know if they could have done much more with those sort of hybrid kind of models. I, I think it's really good that they went to a titanium. And titanium, of course, makes for a really good everyday carry for a knuckle roller as well. It's going to take a beating. Plus, there's just something about titanium that people just really enjoy, including myself. Definitely different than anything they've done so far in the knuckle roller category. So it's fresh, and I think it's fresh for what's out there on the market as well. All right, definitely check out Zero Gravity Return Tops here, the Pachoto. Yeah, I think you would like this one. If you are new to knuckle rollers, I think you'll like this one as well. It's a really discreet 
uh, small profile that it's gonna fit really well in the pocket. It's just gonna hide away. If you like that slim center there, you're gonna really like this one as well. So definitely check them out. Check out Zero Gravity Return Tops and all things included with them. If you do like this kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe, and all the stuff you're supposed to be doing on YouTube for the content creators you like. All right, that's gonna do it for now for my review of the Pachoto from Zero Gravity Return Tops. I'll see you in the next one later.